Well, to support everyone, disappointment for the Dockers with talented midfielder Stephen Hill ruled out of Saturday night's clash with Essendon because of an ankle injury. It'll be the first game Hill has missed since round 21, 2010. Big outs for Frio. Hayden Ballantyne suspended. Aaron Sandland and Zach Dawson also forced out with injuries. Zach Clark to recall Silvani for just his second game of the year. Lower and Pitt step out for the first time in 2012, both finally rewarded for solid form in the WAFL. Four changes for Essendon who arrived tonight, including Ruckman David Hill. He hasn't played since round two. WA pair De Olio and Remus and Hibbert into the 22. Dyson, Lonigan and Belchamers all axed. Davey has been suspended. So after four forced changes, it's certainly not Fremantle's best team of the year. And as Lockie Reed out, the Dockers are expecting an all-out assault from the Bombers. Several key omissions, so no bold statements. We clearly are the underdogs in this. Frio on red and black alert. The Bombers to invade the West, coming off two straight losses. What I can say is their form's rock solid. I think they've lost three games by collecting a total of two goals or something like that. Not sure their fans would agree. Essendon embarrassed a fortnight ago, falling victim to the lowly Demons, then lost on their home turf to the Swans, despite having plenty of chances. They had 73 entries. I think if you have 73 entries, you... You're not really out of form, are you? And they had lots of shots on goal. So 73 entries, almost world record pace. Both teams' form and recent stats make intriguing viewing. Essendon have lost 11 of their last 12 at Patterson Stadium. Frio returned from the bye, buoyed by their best win of the season over the Tigers, but losing their last two at the House of Pain. No, I don't think it's anything about the ground, but certainly out of those losses, um, we're in most of the games. Um, except the second half against Hawthorne. The Dockers resisting the temptation to recall Anthony Morabito. He played his first full game in about 700 days. So I'd say it's just dealing with the fact. The club desperately in need of an A-grade midfielder. The young gun considered a crucial piece to their top eight puzzle. He could play senior football next week because it would be two full games, it would be four games back. And, um, but it's about him walking down the race, knowing that he's ticked every box and that he can compete at AFL level. Lockie Reed, 10 News.